that's pretty much the end of the session today. Um, we're going to be doing another session in a month. Um, and the prep for that is for you guys to basically go through and do all of this stuff again. So everything, everything we do and every version you've done of your business here has been working through the entire business. It's your full iteration of how people do things, how they work it through, how do you build out a value stream map, how do you work that, and that stuff's going to change. As soon as you get out of the building and go talk to customers, you're going to realize things. You're going to learn things. You're going to have to come back and you're going to have to just tweak that value stream a little bit or redo a value proposition canvas and try and look at it from a different perspective, a different angle. What we've given you is really just tools on how to test business ideas. That's all this is. And so you use them and reuse them. And so for the homework for next week is to reuse them and keep working through them. Get out of the building and get some real data and test those assumptions. Do people really have that problem? Are they re is this the hardest thing about what they're trying to do? Are you really climbing the highest hill? Um, and then, uh, so map out the value streams is just another way of helping do that. Then, hold it. Yeah. Yeah. So then, as you go out there, realize that your brain is going to work against you. Right? Bias is a dangerous thing. You've got a solution in mind. Confirmation bias is going to make you hear the stories that agree with you and ignore the things that don't agree with you. So be aware of that and try to work against that. Hindsight bias is going to make you think that the things you believe now are what you've always believed. So when you go out and you learn and you come back in, you'll be like, yeah, well, we always knew that people you know, uh, bought chicken pops in the queue while they're waiting for the barber. You know? that, that's, that's cool. Like, and then you look before and you say, problem statement is there's nothing to eat. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay, interesting. And then you can also use that as fodder to tell people, we learned this. Because people always, it, hindsight bias is even more arrogant in the mind of other people because they've got Dunning-Kruger effect, which is this effect that the less you know about something, the less you think there is to know. So when you can teach and surprise someone and say, well, we thought this, but actually that, now you wake up people's minds to that you've learned something and you've got something to offer. Yes. So beware of those biases and the way the brain works. And, and, and core to being aware of those biases and being conscious of them is to write the stuff down. Do another version of, your, of the value proposition canvas. Do another version of the, of the um, iteration, iteration design. Do another version of your, like keep your old post-it notes. Take photos of them, upload them to the drive, document them, and then do another iteration of the whole thing as you're moving through it. So it's don't throw away the stuff you've got, keep it, learn from it. That's gonna show your understanding and show the contextual stuff that you've got. And just jumping to the last, like we're just gonna review the content of the day, but you have to click it. Um, so pretty much everything we've told you today can be summed up in get out of the building, right? The worst, and write it down. worst way your brain works against you is actually procrastination and all of this. You will come up with a million reasons why you don't need to get out of the building. Get out of the building. Customer development, realize that there are things you don't know about your imaginary customers. The lean startup, know that there are things you need to learn, so you need to measure stuff, so you need to run experiments to get out there. Picking ideas, figure out what your context is, if it's, re if it's reasonable, and then get out there and check that people have those problems. Iteration design is all around how do you take smaller slices. It's a procrastination defeating tool. It's a way of saying, cool, I I'll never get to one day, that's just I'll procrastinate forever on that, but how I can go out and see how it sucks right now. Get out of the building. Then customer interviews is how do you actually talk to people? We've given you the whole script. You know, don't think about what you're going to ask people. Just like, what's the hardest thing about getting a haircut? What, can you remember the last time that happened? Like, what was bad about that? What don't you love about how you've tried? The, those questions are there. Just go and ask them. To uh, people. One quick thing: if you ever get a no, ask why. So if anyone's like, if you ever lead something and someone's like, no, I don't have that problem. Ask why. Why don't you have that problem? What, like that is how you make a no answer into an insightful answer. And then Just ask why. The, the the second half is really around stuff to help you learn what you don't know, so you can go out and find it out. Because you write it all down, you don't know it yet, you're assuming it, now you need to get out and go validate that. But everything is just get out of the building, do your homework, and bring back the results. And I'm sure we'll all be surprised next time.